Close your eyes for a second. Now imagine this, a Nikon flagship with a global shutter. No rolling wobble, no motion blur, just razor sharp precision. Sports shooters drool, video pros take notice. Rumor has it, the Nikon Z92 is coming, and it's not just an update. It could be a mirrorless revolution. Word is, it's not months away. It's weeks. Nikon shooters, better clear some space in your bag and on your credit card. Nikon has a rhythm, a pulse that beats in sync with the Olympic flame. The D1, H, D, 2, H, D, 3 all launched right before major Olympic moments. Then came the D6 ahead of Tokyo, and the Z9 dropped like thunder before the 2022 Winter Olympics. This isn't coincidence, it's strategy. So, with the Milan Cortina 2026 Winter Olympics less than a year away, you guessed it, Nikon's next pro powerhouse is about to make landfall. And history tells us it's not just possible, Let's give credit where it's due. The Z9 was a beast when it launched. 45 megapixels, 8K video, no mechanical shutter. It was bold. Nikon went all in. But then came the Z8, basically a Z9 in a lighter, cheaper body. For a lot of folks, that made the Z9 feel unnecessary. And for Nikon? That's a branding problem. This isn't just about catching up to Canon or Sony. This is about reclaiming the throne. Nikon needs a flagship that doesn't just match expectations. It obliterates them. And this time, they're not pulling punches. Let's pause on that. Global shutter. If you haven't shot fast action, you might miss the weight of those words. But for pros, it's huge. Every pixel read at once. No jello, no warped lines, just clean capture. Sony nailed it with the A93. But if Nikon does it better, and soon, they don't just catch up, they leap ahead. Add a rumored Xpeed 8 chip, AI autofocus, maybe even red style color science. This isn't just a mirrorless camera, it's a creator's multi-tool from sports to cinema. Okay, deep breath, because we've been here before, the original Z9 was a monster, eventually. But, at launch, it felt unfinished. Promised features weren't ready. Firmware updates did the heavy lifting, but that early excitement? It cooled fast. This time, Nikon has to land the punch on day one. No beta firmware. No missing features, just a flagship that's ready to go, tested, trusted, and bulletproof before pros take it to Milan in 2026. That's not optional, that's the standard now. And if Nikon wants to win back the front page, they can't fumble the reveal. Zoom out for a moment, Canon owns the hybrid game, Sony dominates in speed and innovation. But Nikon? Nikon's playing a quieter game, a smarter one. They're stacking the deck, Z8 for versatility, ZF for style and nostalgia, Z63 coming to shake up the mid-range, and now, the Z92 to define the peak. If RED-inspired video features come baked in, if Global Shutter delivers on what we've been dreaming of, Nikon won't just be relevant again. They'll be dangerous. They'll be leading. So yeah, the Z92 could be coming next month. And if the leaks are right, you're not just witnessing a camera launch. You're watching a legacy reboot in real time. All right, you've heard the leaks. You've seen the timeline. You've felt the hype. Now it's your turn. Will Nikon actually pull this off? Will a global shutter Z92 be the start of something bigger or just another overhyped rumor? Drop your thoughts down below. Would you buy it, wait for it, or stick with what you've got? And if you found this interesting, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're first to know when the official reveal drops.